Tonight is the last meeting of our 2019-20 Common Council, and I want to thank the Council for making decisions to approve projects and programs that led to a very successful year. And I also want to commend our administrator, the department heads and staff that implemented these programs and projects. It was a great year for Sheboygan, and it was good to see that the residents of Sheboygan have returned all the incumbent alderpersons back to their positions for another term. I thank the challengers for their interest in participating on the city council. But all of this progress is being overshadowed by the current pandemic. When the infection curve is finally flattened and decreased, there will be a lot more work to do to help our city recover. The city has received an additional $569,000 allocation from the Community Development Block Grant funding from the federal government. Tonight, we will ask the council to approve a job retention program using $400,000 of those funds to make grants of $3,000 to $15,000 to small businesses that were not able to qualify or receive any other funding from the CARES Act. If approved, the application will be available on the city website and the program hopes to award grants in early May. This funding is anticipated to assist at least 28 businesses. I would also like to thank Governor Evers and administration for the efforts to protect the health and well-being of all Wisconsin residents. With a special thanks for the state and the Sheboygan County Public Health Department for their help to deal with the COVID-19 outbreak at Sunny Ridge Nursing Home. At Sunny Ridge, all of the patients that tested positive have now recovered and been moved out of isolation. There are three Sunny Ridge employees that tested positive that continue to be isolated. Sheboygan dentists have received personal protection equipment from the supply at the Sheboygan County Emergency Management, and this will allow them to re resume dental surgeries. We will work with the governor to implement the new Badger Bounce Back program with guidelines and criteria to bring businesses back online. This plan calls for sufficient testing capabilities, PPE supplies, ventilators to deal with the coronavirus if there is a second wave of reinfection. These resources should make residents confident that the plan is prudent and that they can return to work or be a shopper in our community. The Sheboygan County Public Health Department has designated a new COVID-19 dashboard that is updated daily on their website. And today that dashboard shows that tests administered, there were 44 positive tests, or 93% of the 670 tests done were negative. There are also currently 12 active, active cases of the 44 total cases that turned out positive, which is 68% or 30 that have recovered. There have been two deaths. And the dashboard also breaks down the ages of the positive cases and shows a graph of the cases that are recorded over time. With the extension of the Safer at Home order by Governor Evers, allowing golf courses to resume, the Sheboygan uh, Park Department will open the Disc Golf Course at Valrath Park this Friday. This along with the JC Disc Golf Course that is currently open will allow for more social distancing with the two courses open in Sheboygan. In closing, I'd like to wish everyone a happy Earth Day. And I also would invite you to see the city's sustainability report for 2019 on the city website. Just search for sustainability report and you can see the activities that we've done in that area. Thank you.